everybody. Today is Monday, September 16th, and as you saw, I didn't really read much for Saturday and Sunday, but I did some vlogging, so I thought I would just put it in. Um, but, um, yeah, I did a vlog last week, but my clips are being weird, so I don't know if it's actually going to be a vlog that you guys see. But in case those uh, clips don't work and I can't edit the vlog, then I'm just going to give you an update slash recap of what I'm doing for my September TBR. I'm participating in the Mythathon Part 2, which is centered on Norse mythology, and it has a bingo card, and there's 25 prompts, but you can choose whether or not you want to get a full card, which is completing the 25 prompts, the outer square or the inner square, or one line. And I'm doing one line, because that's five books and that is enough for me especially since I've been in a reading slump um so I did do like a little spread I don't know I'm trying to get into journaling okay I feel weird saying the word spread because it's definitely it's not good but this is what I have for my uh September TBR Mythathon I have the bingo card here I'm doing one line five books and so far I have completed one prompt and the prompt was hell goddess of the underworld pick a book with dual dual or multiple pov my nose my voice everything i'm sick so i'm sorry so anyways the book that i completed for multiple pov was my very first manga which is your name by makoto shinkai Mang um yeah your name volume one and i also completed volume two and three since last doing a vlog last seeing you guys if you see that vlog i don't know so i finished these two books these three books this month another update i also finished um the first half of death note volume one which is volume one because the black editions are volumes one two look there's two vol two volumes in one black edition volume but for my prompt i want to read both volumes so i'm halfway done that and I'm loving this. Okay, I've seen the Netflix movie that everybody kind of hates. I haven't seen the anime. kind of want to now, but I'm maybe going to finish reading these. Oh my god! Already in the first volume, there's so much that we were denied from that stupid Netflix movie that I actually enjoyed. And I cannot wait to watch that movie once I've read this. Because, oh my god, Light, the main character, he is so smart. My god. And the thing about the Shinigami eyes... I feel like that wasn't in the movie, I don't remember, but I was really shocked about that, like how Shinigami can see the person's lifespan and their names just by looking at them, and there's like a deal, like, oh, if you give me half your lifespan, I'll let you have my eye so that you can see. First of all, what kind of deal is that, okay? I would not take it. Would you take it? Like, nobody would take that. Has anybody taken it in the history of Shinigami working with you? It's like, who would take that deal? It's not. It, like, what? The book that I was reading mostly last week for the first vlog that you may or may not see is Cataract City by Craig Davidson. And this is about two boys who were in a very, like, traumatizing event when they were 12. They got lost in the woods. Well, they got kidnapped. Then their kidnapper took them to the woods, died, and then they were stuck in the woods for freaking three or four days. No food. They had to find their way back. It was horrible. And then after that, they kind of stopped being friends. And now it's like years later, they're adults. One of them just got out of prison. And I think the other friend is maybe a cop. I don't know yet, but I know that he's on like... It says that they're on opposite sides of, opposite sides of the law. So if one is a criminal convict, then the other one is probably like a cop or a detective or something. They haven't really said what he is. Anyways, I am... Don't know, because where's the bookmark? Lovely. There's no... Where's my... My bookmark's gone. <laughs> okay, in other news, you may have seen in the first few clips of this vlog, I went to Koreatown for, on Saturday. Um, me and my friend went down there to buy some K-pop albums because BTS is taking over Booktube and that is something I love. So exciting! And I wanted to do like an unboxing. I wanted that whole day to be one vlog of going to Koreatown, but it just didn't happen. I didn't get enough clips, so that's why I'm putting it into this like week-long vlog. I didn't do an unboxing. I, d I ended up opening up my albums, but 
I wanted to film it. I didn't get to do that. Me and my friend just opened up our albums and fangirl together. But I want to show you the albums that I got on that day. Obviously, I got a BTS album because I love BTS and that's how I got into K-pop, which I'm pretty sure is how a lot of people on booktube at least are getting into K-pop through BTS. Um, but the album that I got is Young Forever, the Black Edition. I'm not going to show you like the photo book, but I will show you. These are the CDs. This album, I freaking, ah, I love it. What are the songs that I have? Okay, Butterfly. I love Butterfly so much. I Need You, Save Me, Young Forever, obviously, I freaking love that song. Run, Bapse, You Call Me, a Bapse, freaking love that song. That's one of my favorites. It's on here. Freaking, I love it. I love it. Came with a poster that I'm not going to put on my wall because I'm not a poster person. There was a time where I was, but now I'm not. But when I get like a nice house and have a library, I'm going to have that library just be my general fangirl room where I'll put all of my fangirly stuff up. So I'll probably put my BTS posters up. I don't know. We'll see. I got Jungkook. I love him. And it has like a little signature on the back. And they're so young. This is so young. Jungkook. Oh, I love it. I'm not going to show you every picture in here, but I will say the person who is owning this photo book right now is Blonde Jin. I don't care what you say, this kid owned this photo book. He looks so good in this whole entire book. Blonde Jin needs to come back because, damn, that's Jin. He owns this photo book. I cannot. The second album that I got which actually my friend got for me, and I'm so thankful. Um, it's actually not BTS, it's GOT7. I'm so happy that everybody is on the BTS train, but I am here, sitting, waiting for people to get on the GOT7 train, because that train is lonely at the moment, okay? I need people to know. I need them to know. They're so great. I got Present You, GOT7, third third album are you ready for this I I don't know if you are look at them look at them the only sucky thing about this album is that there's eight different versions and there's a, ver a group version the one that I got and there's a version for every member so you really have to like all of the members because if you ordered one and you got like Jackson then that means the whole photo book is Jackson photos, which is kind of annoying. I, I wish they didn't do that because I watched videos of people buying like 10 or 15 um, copies of this album just trying to get their bias or like three specific members and they would get like four of the same person and none of the one that they wanted. So I'm glad that I got the group version because I was able to go to the store and even though they're wrapped in plastic, and the cover for all of the versions is the same. If you pick it up and look at the top, you can see the coloring and you're, you'll be able to tell which version you get. So I'm glad I did my research. I looked at all of the versions they had and there was only one group version. And I'm so happy that I have it. I love, I love them. Okay, I love them as much as I love GOT7. I mean, BTS, sorry. They're very different. Their music is different. The people are different, but I love them, okay? I can't. So of course I got three photo cards, bless, and I also got a lyric sheet with one of the members on it. You guys, like, got seven? Okay, just when you're ready, got seven. So if you are into K-pop and you're like just discovering it like me, what other groups have you discovered and are liking besides BTS? Let me know. Especially girl groups, because I need some girl groups, you know? Can't leave them out. And the last thing that I have that is BTS related is a package that I ordered. And I'm such a loser. But you know, it was under $10, so... And I'm gonna use it, so it's okay. Okay, here we are. <sighs> Uno cards. BTS Uno cards. What is this world that I live in? Why? How did I get here? I don't know. I'll do a quick overview so that you could see what the cards look like. But other than that, I think that's all for this clip. I have to go to an appointment 
so I'll take Death Note with me for the journey and I will update you guys sorry later? I don't know Everybody, um, this is the last clip of the vlog. Uh, it is Sunday, September 22nd. Let's get on with the updates, shall we? I haven't read that much this month and this week. This week and this month, just haven't read. Okay, I haven't been reading. But I did finish Saga. Oh, it's blurry. Hello. I finished Saga Volume 5, and I think this is the best volume so far. I felt bad for several characters, even the evil ones, and Hazel is so cute, and I love this, um, oh, it's upside down, how lovely. I also finished Death Note, Black Edition, Volume 1. Why is it going out of focus? But holy crap, man, it's so different. They really did an injustice with the character Light. This kid is so freaking smart. And I just cannot wait to watch the anime. I want to watch the anime. And I want, I'm so happy that I have the other two volumes sitting here. I love this. I can't believe it took me this long to pick it up. But it's amazing. And I love it. Like I said, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm still struggling through Cataract City. It is so weird because it's like boring and uneventful, but not uninteresting. And I don't know how that works that's how I feel about this book like I still want to read it it's very readable but I don't think it's gonna be re-readable um, I'm almost halfway through the book and I still don't really know what the plot is there's just the two friends Owen and Duncan Duncan just came out of prison I have discovered that he was in prison oh, it keeps going out of focus I discovered he was in prison for murder don't know why he murdered the person don't know who he murdered i don't know what owen's role is in this story but it keeps going back in time and focusing on moments of owen and duncan's friendship and it's showing how over the years they grew apart from each other i don't really know how to explain it but nothing really is happening but i'm still interested i don't i don't i don't know i don't know what's happening but i like it mm -hmm. And I'm also still reading Morning Glories. This doesn't have any page numbers, which is really annoying, but I am almost halfway through. This is a reread. I first read it in 2013, and I love it so much. And doing the reread, I am noticing way more things than I did before, or at least remembering a lot of things that I forgot early on in the reading process of this um, whole series. <sighs> this is really good. I love it so much, so I'm probably going to finish this next. And yeah, that's that. So, for the readathon, like you may have seen, I have three of the five um, books read. So I just have to finish Cataract City and Morning Glories. Morning Glories will be easy to finish because it's just a graphic novel. Cataract City, I don't know. I think I can read it by the end of the month, but I, I also started that book on September 1st, and I'm not even halfway done. So... Do I have too much faith in myself? I don't know. We shall see. I have... I don't know why I'm showing you this because I already just showed you, but I'm almost done and I feel so alive. Anyways, 
thank you for watching and i'll see you later bye